Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a relay to an Arduino. So let's get started. Okay, so now let's get to wiring our relay into the Arduino. So right here, you can see that these, these four pins, if I take off these cables, there are four pins and under them, uh, it's, it's, um, there is a label. Uh, there's ground in one, in two, and VCC. So the ground is self-explanatory, it goes to the ground. In one goes to one of the GPIO pins, in two goes to another GPIO pin, and finally VCC goes to five volts. So let's, let's first start off with the ground wire. So I'm going to take my ground and I'm going to plug it into the ground on the Arduino. So our ground is the pin right above pin 13. It's this one right here. Hold it up to the camera. Now the second thing we uh, need to plug in is our in one. And so we need to plug that into one of our IO pins. So I'm gonna, I will pick pin uh, number eight. You can pick any pin you want, but this will affect um, what uh, number you need to type in when you're um, coding the Arduino. So now for my in two, I'm gonna plug it into the IO pin seven. And finally for my five volt, I'm going to have to plug it into one of our 5 volt pins, which is right here. Okay, so now we need to take our cable and plug it right into the Arduino. And now you can see that the lights turned on. So now we need to go onto the computer and into the Arduino software. Okay, so now we are in the Arduino uh, software. So um, make sure your screen looks the exact same as mine with the void setup and the void loop. You don't need these comments. I'm just going to remove them right now. And if you don't have any of these, you can just um, type, type them in right now. So now we need to uh, declare two variables. The first is going to be an integer, which um, signifies uh, the in, uh, in one. So to do this, we need to type in int in one, and then we set that equal to eight since that was the pin we decided to use. And then the second variable is another integer. So int in two equals, and then we set, uh, we used pin seven. So I'm gonna type in seven there. So now we initialized both of the variables that we need. So, now in the setup, we need to tell the Arduino which, uh, what pins we're going to use and whether they're going to be output or input pins. So in here, I'm going to type in pin mode. Note, the, uh, note that the uh, P is not capitalized and the M is capitalized. So, and then we need to open up parentheses and inside the parentheses, the first thing we need to type in is in one which references back to this variable. Type in a comma, and then that um, is an output pin, so we need to type in output in all caps. And you can see that the Arduino software automatically colorizes this. Okay, so now we basically need to do the same thing for in two, so I'm just gonna copy this, paste this right below, and change one to a uh, two. So now we're done with the setup. So now we need to go to the loop portion. So here we need to write, um, turn on and off the pins. So to send a signal to the pins, we need to use the digital, digital write method. So in here, we need to just type in digital and then capital W write. And then we need to open up parentheses. And inside these parentheses, we need to type in in one. We need to set this pin to high. 
High basically means that you, you're you turning on the pin. And by the way, I forgot the semicolons here, I just noticed. This is different from Python, the language I'm generally used to. So now we need to write a delay or else the Arduino will freak out with all the um, code it's receiving, like it needs to turn the pin on and off and on and off like multiple times a second. So in order to prevent this, we need to incorporate a delay. So to do this, we need to type in delay, open up parentheses, and then type in the number of milliseconds. So to do one second, it's basically a thousand milliseconds. So I'm just going to type in a thousand here. Dang, I keep forgetting the semicolons. Okay. So now we need to go in and do that exact same thing again, except we need to set in two to high. So we just change this to in two, and then we automatically have the delay. And then we'll paste this in another two times. So now we need to set both of these pins to low. So now we have in one, and we need to set this pin to low, which will basically turn it off. So again, it's low in all, all capital letters. And then for uh, to turn off in two, we just need to do the exact same thing, change in one to in two, and then set this to low. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the coding. So now what we need to do is to make sure first that your board is selected and your COM port is correct. That's in the tools menu. If you don't, then you can click on it and then it'll give you a list of all the boards. And then for the port, just um, check what ports, uh, what port the Arduino is connected to. But once you have all that, you can just press uh, this arrow, which uh, is the upload, and just click it. First, I'll need to save it, so I'll just save it real quick. And wait for it to do its thing. And now it should upload to the Arduino. And now it's uploading and you can probably hear the relay in the background, but yeah, now it's working. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.